Okay, today we're going to work at changing the power steering pump that is located right here. Okay, we're going to need uh, this uh, 18 millimeter socket and this side also. Why? Because this will help us to take the screw from the side. See, we we'll put a screw here. Now we disconnect the battery. Okay. okay. So I'm going to put I'm going to use this long tool, but uh, if you don't have this, you have to go under, under it. See, it went in. So now, all right. So we're going to loose it, pulling that clockwise. Okay, get it out. Okay, so we got it out. Uh, okay, so I'm going to release now. Uh, let's see, let's release this one first. Okay, I got the car already uh, being old, like a jack stand it it's holding the engine and I got a reservoir body on the bottom to collect the power steering fluid so I'm going to use uh, sorry about the camera maybe I can put it somewhere to keep it steady Going to lose this right here. Oh, already lose. Okay. Put it there. This out. This one here. Okay, I just use a 10 millimeter socket to take it out. Now they say that this engine is the same as the Mazda's. So if you got a Mazda, maybe you can use it as a reference. Use this video, of course. Now you have to unplug this out. Okay. And then uh okay, had to ah this is power steering is loose, I had to lose this out. I guess uh I had to hold one wrench there. Now I'm going to use a three quarter to lose this. And uh, I'm not sure it's, it's uh, the power steering fluid is going to drop through here. I'm going to put this right here just in case something comes out from this uh, container. Like I said, this is the first time I'm doing this and just doing this and to help others that have the same problem you know. so I might do a lot of mistakes uh, 
not pretend to be a professional but I like cars and I like to get my hands dirty Grandpa, not much. Okay. All right, so we're going to um, just put the line here. All right. All right. Let's put the 18 millimeters inside and I'll twist it. Lose it a little bit. It's coming easy. If it comes easy, that means that the engine is being hold good on the bottom. You see that pop? Don't get scared. That pop is because it's never been replaced. Okay, that's why that's what I said I need a longer tool, you know, so that way I, I use less force. Now, if you don't want to spend money on tools, then you must take it to the mechanic. But I'm telling you, you will lose all the fun of doing it yourself, plus gaining knowledge, and then you can help others, right? I already lose those yesterday, so uh, I was seeing if everything comes loose. Oh, good. The engine is being Oh, no, I love it. Okay, now we're going to take this out. I took the screws one, two, three, four, five. Okay? I'm going to take this out. have to take this out now I have a uh, one two and three screws to remove from there well okay so so this squish squish it squish it squish it real good see like that to remove this in order to get to that screw. Alright, I'm trying to remove this screw here. I will take these two hoses out. That way I have room to get to the to the on the bottom. Okay, now I found a way to hold that pulley with the wrench and now I'm going to loosen it. 
You see all the hole in your moves? look the new pump uh, I'm sorry I think I got everything upside down but you have to remove the ones that they're not here of course so you got one two three four five six seven eight at the install we are going to remove these tabs and put what goes in So we took all the screws and now I'm going to proceed to remove the, the pump. And that's it. That's the tough part. Oh my god. I don't know if I got that screw here. It's in the special tools as you can see. That's a torque. I don't know, maybe I can do something else, but uh, Okay guys, uh, I had a few problems with the <laughs> pump uh, to remove this um, these brackets right here. I couldn't take them out so I finally did it so everything is ready to put back. It's the opposite way. So uh, uh, let's get started. First we had to put this um, rubber thing inside here. Okay, I found this. I'm going to try and do it with this. I hope it goes all the way in. Alright, yep. I think it should work. Yep, I got it in. <laughs> I use this thing. So, you can use whatever you think is good but I got it in Thank you for watching.